In this video, we're going to look at how to scrape some data from a Pinterest URL. Later, we'll be building a web app utilizing this functionality. In our scraping proj folder, let's create a new file called pinterest.js. We'll start with the basic server found in the previous lectures. Let's take a look at the Pinterest URL that we'll be scraping the data from. So I've just taken a random pin and navigated to the URL and I've opened up the console window right here. So we're going to be grabbing the actual image location right here and we'll be grabbing the text which is the description of the pin right here. And the one thing that I want to point out now is that we're actually going to be getting the second occurrence of this attribute. So this occurs earlier in the web page as far as the item prop equaling image. It occurs right above here. So we'll see item prop equals image and this, this links back to the user's avatar. So we don't want the avatar, we, have, we want the pin image URL. So we'll be using some jQuery syntax in order to get the second occurrence and we'll take a look at how to do that right now. So I'll start off with the same request functionality that we did in the previous lecture. This is the URL of our pin. I'm going to set our pin as an object which we will return in the console. And I'm going to use Cheerio to load our HTML body. Now I'm going to define three variables for pulling out the info from the web page that we want. The first variable is the image itself. So as mentioned, we're using the get and we're passing in one because this is the second instance. So it's the same idea as the first element of an array, of an array is index zero. So this would be the second element. And you may have noticed that we're actually getting the attribute of content. So instead of getting the text, as we did in the previous example, we're going to be getting the text within content equals. So we can do that by reusing our Cheerio dollar sign, passing in our variable image, and attaching the dot attribute method of content. Now we're going to declare a variable for getting the description of our pin. And this is very similar syntax except I'm just chaining the dot attribute method because we're getting the first instance of item prop equaling text on the page. Now I'm going to create an object to export and then log that object to our console. So now when I save this file and then run node Pinterest, it should start our server, navigate to our Pinterest URL, scrape the data from it, save the data to an object called pin, and then log that to our console. Okay, it's saying URL isn't defined, so I guess I have to define this outside. And then once I do that, we can see that we run our server on port 8080 and then we get back the scraped pin in our console. So this was more or less just a setup to show you how we would scrape data from Pinterest so that it's a little bit easier when we create our Angular application in a future lecture.